let me ask you about Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And I want to put up what a former chairman of the Joint Chiefs told this week, this program, several months ago. Today we've changed. The country has changed. I'm personally of the view now that attitudes have changed. And I think it is perfectly acceptable to get rid of the law and the policy. Is it time, General Shelton, to get rid of that policy? Christiane, I think it's time to let's see what the men and women that are at the basic combat unit, particularly the men in the Marines and the Army, have to say at, when the survey comes in on the 1st of December. Will you we, support it if the Pentagon Review says that it's time to get rid of it? If the men and women in, in uniform at the fighting level, particularly Marines and Army, say, you know, it doesn't make any difference to us, and therefore it won't break the readiness of our great armed forces. Why do you think, think it would? I mean, look, some of the great allies that the United States have, whether it's Canada, whether it's Britain, France, Australia, even Israel allows openly gay men and women to serve in the military, and they have great armies, great militaries. They have great uh, militaries, great armies, but if you check the historical records, Christian, as you know, we've never lost to any of them. We are the top of the pile. We are the best in the world, and we want to stay that way. And if this policy is related to combat readiness, see, these guys, these individuals don't go home at night. It's not the corporate world. You and I can go home at night. We live our own lives, etc. These individuals are intense. They're in barracks. They fight for one another. Who's on the left? Who's on the right? I think it's extremely important that we find out from them whether or not this is going to change why they fight. If it does, we've got a problem. If it doesn't, then On we'll that proceed. note, this is obviously a current uh, issue that's being debated, yes. and it will be finalized, we think, in a couple of months at least. General Shelton, thank you very much indeed for joining us.